If you are passionate about learning new things and discovering interesting facts, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Together, let's explore the world around us in a fun and educational way. Since the dawn of humanity, a simple but powerful question has echoed in the depths of every human being's mind, why do we exist? This existential question transcends barriers of time, culture, and belief, and remains as relevant today as it was for the first philosophers who contemplated it. The Paradox of Life When we look at the vastness of the universe, it is almost impossible not to feel insignificant. We are on a small planet, orbiting an ordinary star, in one galaxy among billions. But, despite this apparent insignificance, there is something inside us that makes us believe that we are special, that our life has a purpose. However, this belief can be disturbed when we are confronted with the incomprehensible vastness of the cosmos. The universe, with its countless galaxies and unimaginable number of stars and planets, forces us to question, how can something as small as human life have any relevance in such a grand context? Are we just cosmic dust, brief flickers of existence in a tapestry of time and space that spans billions of years? This is a question that, for many, causes discomfort. The idea that perhaps our life, with all its dramas, struggles and achievements, is just a small anomaly in a vast and indifferent universe can be devastating. However, it is also an opportunity for reflection. What does it mean to exist in such a gigantic universe? Could it be that, because we are aware of our own existence, we are no longer, by definition, special? The complexity of time. Another issue that shakes the understanding of our existence is the nature of time itself. From the moment we are born, we are conditioned to perceive time in a linear way, past, present and future. This vision gives us a feeling of progress, that we are walking in a straight line, always moving forward. But what if time is not linear? Many physicists and philosophers suggest that time may be an illusion, that the past, present and future coexist simultaneously. If this is true, then our lives, contrary to what we think, are not constantly moving forward. Instead, every moment of our existence may be occurring at the same time, trapped in a kind of, eternal now. This idea not only questions our perception of reality, but also calls into question our understanding of mortality. If time is not linear, what does it mean to die? Can we truly cease to exist, or do we simply shift our perception from one point to another within this eternal now? These questions confront us with the nature of life and death in a way that makes us rethink what it means to be alive. The Illusion of Self Perhaps the most challenging fact when it comes to questioning existence is the very notion of the self. We spend our lives believing that we are separate, unique entities, with distinct personalities, thoughts and memories. But what are we really? Modern neuroscience suggests that the self, that sense of individuality, may be a construct of the brain. Our thoughts and emotions are the result of complex biological processes, chemical interactions and electrical signals. If we are just a product of these reactions, then who is really in control? And most importantly, who are we, really? There is also the question of self over time. The person you were at five years old is not the same person you are today. Your cells regenerated, your memories changed, your beliefs evolved. And yet, you still identify as the same person. This paradox raises profound questions about the continuity of identity. Does the self really exist or is it just a narrative we create to make sense of our experience? This disconnect between the perception of a continuous self and the reality of constant change can leave us disoriented. If there is no fixed I, then what does it mean to be a person? What does it mean to exist? The Mystery of Consciousness Consciousness is, without a doubt, one of the greatest mysteries of science and philosophy. It is what allows us to have subjective experiences, to feel emotions, to reflect on our own lives. 
But despite all the scientific progress, we still don't fully understand what consciousness is and where it comes from. Some theories suggest that consciousness is a byproduct of the brain's complexity, while others argue that consciousness may be a fundamental property of the universe, something as basic as gravity or light. If this last hypothesis is true, then all beings, and perhaps even inanimate objects, can have some level of consciousness. This thought not only forces us to reconsider our position in the world, but also puts our relationships with other living beings into perspective. If consciousness is a universal property, what differentiates us from an animal or a plant? Are we just a fragment of a larger consciousness, something like a drop in the cosmic ocean? And if so, what does that say about our individuality? Reality or simulation? One of the most intriguing questions of recent times is the possibility that our reality is, in fact, a simulation. This theory, popularized by philosophers and scientists such as Nick Bostrom, suggests that if it is possible to simulate consciousness in a virtual environment, it is likely that we are already living in one of these simulations. The idea is disconcerting. If we are in a simulation, our entire universe might just be a set of computer codes. Our experiences, emotions, even the weather, can be controlled by an entity or system beyond our understanding. This possibility of living in a simulation calls into question everything we know about reality. If everything around us is an illusion, then what is real? And, most importantly, who is controlling us? These questions about the nature of reality can be frightening, but they also offer a new perspective on our existence. Perhaps the reality we know is just a small part of a bigger game, and our true nature is yet to be discovered. The absence of purpose. For many people, the idea that life has no greater purpose is perhaps the most disturbing of all existential questions. We spend our lives searching for meaning, whether through relationships, careers, religion, or self-discovery. But what if there is no predetermined purpose? What if the universe is indifferent to our existence? This lack of purpose can be paralyzing for some. If nothing we do really matters in the grand scheme of things, then why put in the effort? Why live? For others, however, this vision is liberating. If there is no fixed destiny or greater purpose, then we are free to create our own meaning, our own reasons for living. This freedom, however, comes with a weight. Without a universal purpose, the responsibility for finding meaning in our lives falls entirely on us. We are ultimately the architects of our own existence, and it is up to us to decide how to live. Questioning existence is, ultimately, an act of courage. Facing these deep and perplexing questions can send us into a state of crisis, where everything we thought we knew is challenged. But it can also be a transformative journey. By facing the abyss of the unknown, we have the opportunity to redefine our understanding of ourselves and the world around us. We may never have definitive answers to these questions. Perhaps the beauty of existence lies precisely in its uncertainty. But, by allowing ourselves to question, we open doors to new possibilities, new ways of seeing and understanding life. After all, the true essence of existing may not lie in the answers we seek, but in the questions we ask. By questioning our own existence, we challenge the limits of what we know and expand our understanding of reality, time and our own consciousness. Perhaps the meaning of life lies precisely in the search for meaning, in how we choose to deal with uncertainty and in how we shape our lives in the face of mystery. Each of us, on our personal journey, is invited to find our own path, whether it is filled with religious beliefs, the fascination of science or the creation of individual purposes. The beauty of existence does not lie in a final answer, but in the continuous movement of discovery, in the possibility of reflecting, changing and evolving. And in the end, it is this ability to wonder and wonder that truly defines what it means to be human.